Um, everyone, I'm delighted to introduce Arzu Ardakani from Purdue University. Please take it away. Thank you. Thank you for organizing such a wonderful event. Um, so I uh, want to tell you about my journey of how um, I came uh, where I am and where uh, my lab now focuses on uh, fluid dynamics and transport processes for range of application from environment, health, energy, and biology. Um, I was born and raised in Esfahan, which is a city in the center of uh, Iran. Um, the city was uh, capital from 1600 to 740. And so there, uh, it's, uh, there are many different uh, mosques, bridges, and um, palaces in town. So uh, lots of beautiful architectures that you can find in, the, uh, in town. Um, after that, I moved to Tehran for uh, four years to do my undergrads. And then I moved to US. Uh, I did my PhD at the University of California, Irvine. Um, then I did a postdoc at MIT before I moved to Indiana, where I started my first faculty position at the University of Notre Dame, and then transitioned to Purdue um, three years after that, uh, where I am currently at. Um, so perhaps my love for science has started when I was one uh, when I was born, like because uh, I was born on the same day my mom was supposed to have his, uh, her physics exam, um, and that's on um, the photo taken on that day. Um, but uh, as I grew up, my um, love for science uh, grew. I remember like I was maybe three or uh, four years, but I was looking for hours, the pen in a glass of water. Why does it look like this? Uh, or uh, making um, uh, liquids out of red cabbage and other, other um, uh, liquids to make indicators for acids and bases. Um, these are pictures of my cousins. And um, I was fortunate to be in a um, big family of cousins where many of us are similar age, so it was fun to play and grow up with these um, uh, other uh, kids in the family. Um, when I was uh, little, I, uh, my love for night sky grew a lot, and I every night, basically, I was on the roof of our house, like, looking at the night sky. Um, that was mesmerizing for me. And uh, it was in 1997 when Hale-Bopp uh, comet was um, seen or closest to the um, to the uh, Earth, and like those nights, I remember very vividly, uh, spending hours just looking at it. And as um, I was going to high school, my love for astrophysics um, grew more. So I uh, really, at that time, I wanted to be a physicist, an astrophysicist. Um, I spending time taking photos. Um, and so this is 1999 the eclipse, uh, which uh, was seen very nicely in Esfahan, which was my town, hometown, and uh, spending um, hours just taking these um, these photos. Um, then later, um, I spent um, about a year um, studying just physics um, because I was part of the uh, National Physics Olympia team, and um, that time uh, was lots of fun learning about quantum physics and hydrodynamics and electrostatic and all those things. Um, then I started my uh, undergrad, uh, my love for engineering also grew and like got into robotics and building different robots from stair climbing robots or um, rescue robots um, and getting part of many different robotic competitions or building um, and gliders and uh, things like that. Uh, you may say, who is that person? If you pay attention, there's one person photobombing almost every picture. Uh, and I'm just highlighting uh, him here uh, for you to make it easier. And that's the person I uh, fell in love and, and uh, got married. And we've been living together for now 20, 20 years. So that's uh, his way husband. Uh, you'll see him in the future pictures um, as well. And we both actually transitioned to the same career path as uh, we were uh, since we were undergraduate students. Um, my journey in institutions that I've been, I uh, did my undergrad at Sharif University. Uh, Ari Alassi was my advisor and I was working on um, jumping robots. And then uh, later moved to University of California, Irvine and had great mentors. That was the years where Dan Joseph was a spending winter quarter at Irvine. So I uh, got to know his work and uh, he and um, Roger Rangel were my co-advisors and interacted with um, uh, great people like um, Bill Seriano, who uh, was a great mentor to me as well. Then moved to MIT as a postdoc and worked with great people, Gareth McKinley, Roman Stalker, and Tom Peacock, and uh, working with all of them during those times and interacted with many great um, people who were postdocs at the time, but now they're all faculty at different uh, places around the world. Um, then I moved to Notre Dame. Not all the people you see in this picture are at Notre Dame, but um, I 
got to know their work and they became my mentor when I was at Notre Dame. So that's why you see um, their pictures here, but collaborated a lot with, uh, with these people and learned a lot. And then moved to Purdue and expanded um, basically uh, collaboration in different areas with many people from Purdue and also other uh, universities as well. Um, when I was at um, UCI, I got into building CubeSats. These are 10 by 10 centimeter um, satellites that um, before 2013, they were um, majority, um, majorly built by uh, universities and um, sent to space. But after that, um, half, of it, half of them are, are more commercial. And then um, the award I got on uh, basically called the Amelia Earhart um, Award also changed um, my mind because I learned about Amelia Earhart's life. And at that time, I didn't know that she was um, at some point in her life uh, visiting faculty at Purdue and trained hundreds of students um, in aerospace field. But that also had an impact on, on uh, my life. Um, I had a very supporting community. This picture you see, like many people who attended every year at Irvine from uh, alumni of Sharif University. So that supporting community um, was tremendous as um, um, I moved through the years. And also uh, people from um, MIT who we've interacted as a postdoc, but also some of the uh, earlier members um, of the group who we meet every year at, the, at, a, uh, at different um, conferences like Society of Rheology and other ones. Um, I started my journey as a faculty at Notre Dame 2011, and these are um, some pictures of my uh, early students. I mean, was my uh, very first student who is now assistant professor at New in uh, Bohr Institute, University of Copenhagen, and Ali Reza, who then joined um, Northeastern as the tenure track faculty. And like, it was really um, uh, wonderful to work with these um, great students. Gaojin is now uh, assistant professor at Shanghai Jiao Tong University and um, also similar for um, Yuanda and uh, Xi'an and um, Xia Xu joined um, basically um, industry. Um, then I moved to Purdue and uh, the, uh, in 2016, I got the PKs award and that was also um, a great uh, part of my journey as I um, met um, the President Obama and like a further motivation on what um uh it uh what to do as uh, I'm building my journey in, in science. Um I moved to Purdue University to 2014 and since then worked with many great um colleagues and collaborated with uh, many different people with different background and like whatever you do here at Purdue, like you find someone who is very interested in. And so it's been very um, interdisciplinary and collaborative. And I love that. And um, these are just pictures of three of the students who graduated a month ago. It's been uh, wonderful to work with these uh, uh, great students. Uh, my background is on fluid mechanics and soft matter and um, biolocomotion. So we look at um, how fluid properties and um, flow affects um, motion of microorganisms and particles. Uh, but we also look at um, instabilities and um, viscoelastic uh, flows in porous media and also um, as it's related to um, drug injection and subcutaneous uh, drug transport. Um, so this is just very brief highlight of um, what I um, do in my research. Uh, maybe I'll spend a little bit on expanding on uh, any of um, these. Um, I do primarily theory and uh, computations, but my love uh, for experiments has been always for, uh, with me. So even in, during my uh, PhD, I did some experiments on my own, but always had um, some portion of my lab focusing on experiments uh, as well. Um, doing proof of concepts or uh, for validation of uh, computation or theory that the, we worked on. Um, I, I, the fabulous part of being faculty is that um, I get to spend time also uh, with the community. Like this is an area um, that is underprivileged. It was at Notre Dame actually. We did um, a high concentration of E. coli was observed in these creeks that was um, pouring to St. Joseph River. So spending time working with the students and um, measuring E. coli concentration, how that connects um, to the local problem they were facing in their neighborhood. Um, doing some um, uh, interaction with the students on all phases of fluid dynamics or diversity luncheons and things like that, it always motivates me to, to discuss um, and the challenges that uh, each of us may, uh, may face as uh, we go through our uh, scientific career. And um, these two littles are bundles of joy in my life. Um, Aiden is um, 20 months and Adrian is um, three and 
uh, half years. And um, they promised me to not make sounds when I'm giving this presentation now. Um, and with that, I'm going to end and take any questions you may have. Okay, uh, thank you so much, Arzu. Uh, I, there's, so there's a question from Uri in the chat, which is, um, there seems to be a quorum of biophysicists who are captured by astronomy early on. What's your take on the fascination with both? Uh, <laughs> Both are complex, and for me, at, that, at each stage of my um, my life, uh, unknown, like too much complexity involved. Um, but um, yeah, I basically um, at some point evolved, moving away from astrophysics, and now I'm more working on biotransport and um, biofluids. Um, but that's an interesting observation you made, and that's correct. I, I'm also a member of, of that group, <laughs> so. Uh... If there aren't any other questions, uh, oh, um, do we have time or maybe we should move on, I think. Go for it, Shanta. Okay, all right, then we have another question from Abi, which is how to make a balance between fluid mechanics and biophysics in other fields. So for me, it's, um... so if the connection comes from like looking at problems because my, um, own training has been always in fluid mechanics, but trying to find biophysics problem where fluid and transport um, is important uh, is basically what motivates me to look at. All right, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to pass it back to Shri and Orit as we get ready for our final talk. <laughs>